Hi everyone, welcome back to another tutorial by IT Conflict Computer Repair in Austin, Texas. I apologize if my voice sounds just a bit froggy. It's very early in the morning and I am working on this video for you guys right now. So what we're going to be doing today is this is a Dell Inspiron N5110 model laptop computer. It's made by Dell. It's part of the Inspiron series and the model again is N5110. So what I will be showing you guys is we'll be doing a little bit of a takedown on this computer, upgrading the RAM, taking out the CDRW, or I'm sorry, the, the optical drive, uh, showing you where the hard drive is, believe it or not, underneath the motherboard, and just getting a little bit, getting a little bit uh, inside the computer and just identifying where a couple things are. If you had any idea of um, if you were planning to upgrade the computer or needed to replace a part, this is the video you need to watch. So let's begin. I'm going to close the laptop down. And anytime you're working on a laptop, these are the two the two tools I'm going to be using: a simple uh, star screwdriver and a thin flathead for popping off panels and. Um, plastic and anything else that needs that gets in my way and that I need to snap off. So anytime you're working on a laptop computer, the first thing you want to make sure is that there is no battery connected to the laptop. In this case, this one has been unplugged and the battery's been taken out of it for well over an hour. I would say before you work on any laptop, just make sure it's been unplugged, turned off, battery's been out of it for at least 10-15 minutes. So first thing I'm going to show you guys on the Dell Inspiron N5110 is where the RAM is and how easy it is to upgrade the RAM. It is one screw. All we're going to do here is unscrew that one screw. Take my other little flathead here, run around the sides, and it pops right off. So, what are we looking at? We have the DIM A, DIM B. If you pull aside these hinges you can just take the RAM right out it slides right out I believe this particular model laptop it is a newer model they're about maybe a year year and a half old uh, they're running Windows 7 this one's running Windows 7 home premium so it's a 64-bit OS it should have no problem running I believe six or eight gigabytes you can go to crucials website crucial.com and they'll tell you exactly how much RAM is supported on this computer but as you can see, I was able to remove the RAM in, uh, what, 15, 20 seconds of unscrewing that one screw, taking the panel off, and um, uh, moving those hinges aside so we can take out the RAM. So that was pretty simple. Replacing the RAM, line up that little notch right there with the notch that's on the motherboard. And if you line it up just right, you should feel it get snug in there and you should be able to just push it down and it snaps right in. So let's get the other RAM piece in there. It's snug, pushes down, it's right in. So the next thing I'll show you guys is the optical drive. Optical drive is only one screw to get to it and the screw, I, I kind of cheated a little bit, I took all the rest of the screws off for this computer for the sake of this tutorial to make it a lot simpler for you guys and a lot quicker but the screw to release the optical is right here so all you would do is unscrew this screw so right next to the RAM take the screw out optical drive is here on the side I'm gonna take my flathead just dig it into a little crevice there and gently push it out you'll see the optical drive just slide out like so and it's very common. These are both very easy replacement parts. If you had bad RAM, if you had a bad optical drive, I mean, you've gotten to those two components in under two minutes. You saved yourself a trip to Best Buy. You saved yourself some cash, and and you did it yourself. So very easy. If you're feeling dangerous and you're bored on a weekend, and one of these two components has died or failed on you, or you want to upgrade the RAM, you know how to do it, and you know how simple it really is. So I'm going to go ahead and just put this back. No, let's leave that out. 
So we're gonna gotta we're gonna move forward and get into the guts of this laptop. What I'm going to do here is open it up as much as I can. And the first thing I'm gonna show you guys is you want to remove the L C D panel. And the way you do that is well first off, I'm gonna assume that you I'm kind of getting ahead of myself here. It's again it's very early you want to go through the laptop on the bottom of it and take all these screws off okay so every single screw that's here you're going to unscrew take off and put aside so again I'm gonna repeat myself all these screws need to come off before we can do anything else in dismantling this laptop so now once we've already removed all those screws you can then begin to take this off take your little thin flathead and it should just start popping off the screen I'm pretending here because again I've already done this but the screen just snaps off you're running along you're running your flathead along the screen and it pops all off so screen this isn't the screen, this is the screen, I, I'll call it a cover. I'm sure there's a technical term for it on Dell's site, but let's just call this a Dell screen cover, the LCD cover. It comes right off. So, next thing we're going to take off is the keyboard. Keyboard actually pushes down, and it is right here. So you want to dig your thin flat head in there push it down and pop up and the keyboard should come right off now if it doesn't if it still feels a little snug it's because it snaps in in these little corners here so once it's popped up on the top you can then dig your little uh, you can dig your uh, um, flathead screwdriver in there and push it up and it'll just come off completely there's one plug to the keyboard and it's this ribbon cable coming right here plugged into the motherboard you want to pull up gently on this black uh, little ribbon stop that plugs it in. Ribbon pops right off, cable pops right off, keyboard is completely off. Let's move that aside. Okay, so the next thing you're going to do is there's two plugs that you do not want to break. Um, three of them actually. And the three that I'm talking about here are right here in blue one two three so you want to unplug these three if you want to get any deeper into this laptop so again all you gotta do is lift up on the little black part pull out the cable again lift up on the little black part pull out the cable and over here lift up on the little black part and pull out the cable now that those are unplugged, I'm going to begin to run my screwdriver, my flathead screwdriver, along this top portion of the laptop and begin to pop off the top of this laptop. So as you run it through, you should feel it all start popping off. If we remove all the screws correctly, it should just come right off once you've ran your screwdriver through it. Um, gently of course and began to snap it off this portion should just come off right away for you and by the way um, they do if you've damaged this if you've broken it or anything the the touchpad you can order this entire piece online they're all over the place um, I'm not sure on the part order um, uh, part number or, or um, what you might call it but there's plenty of Dell distributor parts that um, will have this part in stock and be able to ship it to you. Okay, so there are a couple more screws that are going to come through here on the motherboard. I'm going to identify a couple of the places that I see offhand that did have a screw and that I remember did have a screw, that do have a screw, which are here, 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 and here. And right there 
and right there. So once you've removed those screws, again, I've already done this, to remove the motherboard, there's three more plugs we've got to do. Well, four more. And the first one here is the processor fan, which is right here. This connects to, you have your ventilation, your heat sink, processor sits here, and your fan, which keeps everything cool. And he's plugged into the motherboard right there. So we can unplug it right from the motherboard. Again, we're being gentle with it. These things are pl very thin plastic and can easily break. There it is. The next one we're going to do is the LCD, which is right here. And the way this one comes off is it should just pop up like the other ones, unless it's a plug-in. There we go. This one actually just plugs in. So there's nothing you have to pop off. Just pull out on it, and it'll unplug. The next one that I almost forgot uh, when I was working on this machine is right here, which is the speaker. So you want to just pull out on that one. Again, you're, you're gentle with it because these are thin plastic parts and you don't want to break anything, you don't want to damage anything, so I'm going to be as gentle as possible with this thing. They have tape on it so you can pull, but there it is. But out of the factory, it's very stubborn. So that should just pull out. You shouldn't be too rough with it. And anytime you're working on a laptop, you never want to be too rough. So the next thing I'm going to remove is the Wi-Fi, which has one screw to it. I'm going to unscrew that screw. So I don't lose the screw, I'm going to put the screw aside. Wi-Fi adapter will pop right up. And if you pull it, it'll slide right out like so. Now we're four screws away from getting into the motherboard and the motherboard will then be loose and ready for us to remove. Now I'm not going to get to that point because it, it's really a pain and I don't want to deal with it again but the four, and I'm actually running out of time, but the four screws that you have to remove are you actually you have to remove the LCD screen and the four screws are right here one two, three, and four. Now when you remove these screws, your LCD screen is going to come right off. Okay, put that aside. This back bezel or uh, whatever you'd like to call it, this case, uh, this um, laptop part, this black portion right here pops off. I don't think you necessarily have to remove that one, but if you'd like, it does. And then, lastly, your motherboard comes right out. And you'll feel it as it, when you take this off, you'll then be able to lift up on the motherboard. And as you can see, I'm already lifting up on it because mine is still loose. And you'll be able to just pull the entire motherboard out. Now, the daughter board, there's two of them on this, this particular model, this particular system. There's a daughter board that is right underneath here where the DC jack is plugged in with uh, the VGA I was talking about uh, and then you have another daughter board over here which has your Wi-Fi on it and your sound card where your sound plugs are so uh, again we did the teardown of a Dell Inspiron N5110 model laptop computer I showed you guys the easy upgrades of where your RAM is where your optical drive is and unplugs. I showed you guys how to get down and completely dismantle this system, get down to the motherboard where you need to, if you need to, replace the motherboard. By the way, guys, I almost forgot the hard drive is right here. You can see him sort of peeking out when you lift up on the motherboard. Hard drive, let me see if I can show you guys in this vid. Hard drive is right there if you see him. So when you lift up on this motherboard, hard drive's going to come right out and you'll be able to replace that if you need to. So if you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments section. Uh, we're on Twitter. That's twitter.com forward slash ITConflict. 
Uh, again, this is Eric with IT Conflict, our website www.itconflict.com. Thanks for watching.